to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning everybody we are fixing to leave the truck stop up here and uh, just wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit of this Kenworth truck that's sitting right here beside me. That's a really extended truck, eh? Look at all nice polished trucks that he's, the uh, tanks he's got up there, eh? Like a nice cab over like that. Man, that looks nice. The only problem I would have with it is a small cab like that, but other than that, that's a nice looking truck. But anyways, we gotta get out of here and make our delivery, so we don't want to be late, so let's get out of here. Alrighty guys, Turn left on. these are South the type State of roads that we have US to travel on to. sometimes. Yeah, we're just coming up to a stop sign apparently, we can't see it, but apparently we're coming up to a stop sign. So. You gotta make a left up here and uh, in a quarter oh, mile. Wow. Turn left on South State Highway 39, eh? US 160. And then uh, our delivery should be down here about 1.6 miles or 1.7 or something like that. Yeah, Grunfield, two miles. That's what the sign says. So, yeah. So let's see if we can find this place. Open that's going to be easy found. There we go. Yeah, so let's go make our way down to our delivery place. Hopefully, they will be happy to see me. I'll be there a little bit early, but uh, I'm supposed to be there at 8 30, and uh, I'll be there around 8 13. That's okay. Approaching destination in 1.5 miles on the left side. The left side. All right, all right. Man, this looks weird up here, man. Looks like everything is abandoned up here. Look at this here to the right. You know, a lot of abandoned stuff here, you know. Wow. <laughs> a lot of old trailers. All kinds of trailers up here. This guy must have liked trailers and cars, it looks like. <laughs> I even got some chicken up here. Man, this is a tough hill to climb. Wow. Oh. Hey, yeah, pop up camper over there. <laughs> oh, man. This is a really old. That's for sure. Anyways, I guess they want some grass seeds up here. Oh, they got this field ready to seed some grass, so hey, why not, right? <laughs> Speed limit reduced ahead. All right, all right. Well, let's go see if we can find them and then uh, we'll see you guys later. Well, our destination should be here to the left in about 0.2 miles. I'm almost thinking there must be this place coming up here somewhere. Approaching destination in 1,000 yeah. feet on the Three left side. Rolling feet, yeah, that's just, this must be it, eh? I'm not too sure. Yeah, that looks like grass seeds there, but no, I'm not too sure. Might want to continue on a little further. Not quite sure on whereabouts exactly it's supposed to be, but we'll see. I'm thinking it's this big building up here. I'm thinking that's what it is. Let me see. Yep, yep, that's what it is. That's what I thought. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Three, zero, yes. three. S Grand let's Street. Let's go in here and see where they want us. This one I have to go check in over here. So, alrighty, I gotta go. That was a quick unload. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we got uh, we got there about quarter.
quarter after eight and it is nine o'clock we are already unloaded and out of there that was pretty quick i wish every place was that quick you know now we got a challenge to uh, try and make it to our uh, pickup place it's just a trailer switch over there but uh, Shipping lady is only uh, there till 11 a.m. and uh, she comes back at noon, so she's off for one hour. So if I don't get there before 11, I'm gonna have to sit there for an hour to get my paperwork. And according to RJ right now, uh, 98 miles to go. We should get there at quarter to 11. That's what he says, but. Depending on uh, all this back roads here, you know, that could be a little tough. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed we can get there before 11, but I doubt it. Maybe I'll just pull over somewhere and take me a break and go grab me a bite to eat or something like that and get there around noonish. That way I don't have to worry about it, you know try and get there just before 11 and then she doesn't want to do up the paperwork and then I gotta wait there an hour anyways you know it might be better off just pick it up afternoon so we'll see how it goes I will see anyways we are out of there yep I don't think we have to do too much of a back road though I, I think for the most part we're going to be going on I-44 I think it's just a matter of uh, getting to the I-44 at least this road is much better than the one that I was on there previously that one there uh, that was fairly narrow <laughs> I mean it was like the white line and right away there's the ditch you know like no time to be making errors you know I mean, if somebody was texting and driving and not paying attention or whatever uh, you know one wrong move and you'd be in the ditch <laughs> yep that's for sure but let's have ourselves a fantastic day and let's go on the road we'll pick up our load and then we can uh, probably drive a couple of hours towards home and today is Wednesday well, I don't know if we could drive far enough to make it home Thursday night, but uh, we should definitely be home Friday uh, early morning. That's going to be perfect because then I can uh, get everything ready and I'm going camping this weekend. Yeah, that's the reason why I plan to be off for this weekend. That's coming uh, right along with us and have ourselves a fantastic day together well guys we are still cruising along here i just stopped here at the uh, t8 truck stop i just had to go and make a pit stop had to go use the restroom and so i decided may as well just have me a bite to eat in there just wait a little bit I know I ain't gonna be there by 11, but uh, that's okay. I wasted a little bit of time in there, so we'll probably be there about quarter to 12 now, so that's still good. I can still go drop my trailer and see if I can talk to somebody about my reloaded trailer. Hopefully they can direct me on which trailer it is. And that way uh, I'm gonna pick up my trailer and come back to the office and uh, get my paperwork yeah or I can go there and I can start fill, filling out my paperwork I also need to fill out my paperwork to send to uh, Henner so they can uh, set it up for border crossing right that's right but anyways, we got about 38 miles to go. Now 
will be at our pickup place so let's get on down over there and see what happens right I'll sit down and buy you a cup This truck stop and coffee We both know will fix you right up I can't drive a big rig But man, I play a lot of shows I'll either drive to you As they can sing in these tunes Cause it's the only life I know I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Hey, I play the gigs and you drive the rigs, you know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Of living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Oh, tell us about it, Mo. Well, I better get her going If I'm gonna make Dallas by noon I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear Won't have to do After four million miles You think there's nowhere left to go And I'll climb back up That old truck Cause it's the only life I know So you pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck you play the gigs and I'll drive the rig, you know it's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. You pick the guitar, I'll drive the truck. Yeah, I'll pick the guitar, I'll drive the truck. Yeah, I'll play the gigs, I'll drive the rig, it's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick the guitar and I'll drive the truck. You pick the guitar, hey, you got the truck. Alrighty, guys, I have just switched trailers here in Lebanon, Missouri. Yeah. Now I'm sort of arguing with uh, RJ on which route to take. <laughs> he want me to go over there on Highway 5 and that's further uh, further around. And I didn't see no sign here saying no trucks here for 64. So I figured well, 64 is about, according to what I looked on Google Map there, it looked like it's like 45 miles or 50 miles shorter. So give this a try and see what RJ is going to tell me. He doesn't like Continue it too much and I'm going here. 3.4 miles. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to go 44, uh, 64. I think that's 64 over to uh, 44. Not I-44, just 44 and then over to 65 and then up that way to uh, I guess up there uh, I-49. That's the way I was looking at it uh, on Google Map there. RJ is arguing with me, saying I shouldn't go that way. I don't know why. Anyways, we're gonna go take some back roads here for a while, I guess. Alrighty, guys, we just stopped here at the Flying J in Kansas City, Missouri. Fueled up the truck, and now we're ready to roll. Let's see how bad the traffic is going to be out here. Continue on this road yeah. for five miles. Looks like we got some traffic going on. And it's perfect timing too, you know. Uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, you know. Alrighty guys, we just entered Iowa. Yes, sir, we bought we did. We got 43 miles to Council Bluff. And I got about 67 more miles to go till I'm gonna be calling it a day. At least that's a plan anyways. Yeah. And that will put me far enough 
to where I can actually make it home tomorrow. Yeah, that's exciting. That is super, super exciting. I'm very happy about that. Everything clicked today. Everything worked out real good. But now the sun is starting to go down, so we gotta, yeah, I guess one of the last clips of driving probably today. Anyways, we'll go over probably to a rest area up there further past uh, Council Bluff and then uh, call it a day. Hopefully we can find parking in there. Yeah, probably have to drive till like 8 o'clock tonight, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Anyways, we'll see you guys over there. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. And guess what? We are at a rest area, and I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but it looks like I've been able to hit pretty much every bug on my windshield that there probably was on the road on the last couple of hours of driving. So tomorrow we're going to have to clean our windshield if we want to do any videoing out of the window. <laughs> I don't know where they're all coming from, but it's just crazy today crazy amount of bugs on the windshield today that's for sure but we did have an awesome day we only have about well 612 miles to go now we'll be at home yeah we'll be home sweet home that should be doable tomorrow yep that will give us a full day worth of driving but we'll make it happen I could be home tomorrow night yeah I'm excited that way I can do some preparing on Friday morning to go camping and all that stuff so anyways that's about all I got for today we'll sure see you again tomorrow have a good one behind me that day is gonna come